Greetings once again to Gummy's Along Book Corner, where we look at fine pieces of kaiju-related literature. However, today is not the case, for today we will be looking at Kaiju Apocalypse by Eric S. Brown and Jason Cordova. Let's get into the plot. Pacifica Base has fallen. With the great floods having eradicated much of humanity and the land that they lived on, and the giant behemoths dubbed Kaiju working to eradicate what's left of humanity, very few bastions of humanity remain, and with the fall of Pacifica Base only one remains, Lemura Base. One last-ditch hope for humanity's survival lay in an expedition to find the legendary Kaiju Overmind that controls the Kaiju. A crack team of agents are sent out to locate this Kaiju Overmind, but while they are out, the best and brightest among them, Kaiju begin launching their final assault on Lemura Base. Will humanity fall, or will the Kaiju Overmind be destroyed? There are several things wrong with the Kaiju Apocalypse. One of which is that it attempts to emulate the feel of Pacific Rim, minus all the hopefulness that that film had, and all of the giant robots that made that film awesome. Instead, the giant robots are replaced with mech suits that are barely larger than a human. Secondly, none of the characters in this are very well developed. Maybe one developed enough to get close to caring, but almost all of the named characters in this novel die by the end, and I don't care that that's a spoiler because none of the characters really feel like characters. Either they're barely developed or are only named as they die. <sighs> awful, awful writing. And probably chiefly, considering this is a kaiju book, is how horribly wonky the kaiju are classified. This book classifies kaiju in three categories. Dog kaiju, which are slightly larger than humans, and when it would in other circumstances be classified as kaijin. Clearly the authors did not think to look up this term, even though it is on the same Wikipedia page as kaiju. The second is the normal class kaiju, which are just giant monsters, barely described in any sort of detail just like the dog kaiju. And thirdly, the mother kaiju. And while I do not recall if they are actually mothers, the only reason they really are called mother kaiju is because they are much larger than the regular kaiju. None of the individual kaiju are named, they're barely described, and they're not really all that interesting when they are described. The kaiju in Kaiju Apocalypse are horribly, horribly generic. I don't know... I don't know if the authors of this book really knew anything about kaiju other than what they saw in Pacific Rim. I am aware that they have written other kaiju books, including at least two other Kaiju Apocalypse films, Heaven only knows why. But this book, and I am assuming the rest in the series, are crap and deserve to be put in the proper place. This has been Protomet for Gamay Zalong Book Corner. Farewell. Is this Pinot Noir? I asked for Merlot! Can nothing go right today? <laughs>